Greetings and salutations everyone, my name is Semantics and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. I am recording this one right after I finished recording the last episode, part 6. So I'm just going to jump right back in because this story is amazing. Alright, so what am I looking for here? I'm assuming I have to talk to Johnny. Oh! Oh, that's right. I'm going back into his childhood. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Whoa! Something's happening. Quick, send it again! What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. Oh no. This condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Sorry, I shook my laptop and camera there for a second. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory, now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny Oh, you freaking! Don't pull that contrived crap on me! This ain't a movie and you're no hero, you're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that! If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill! That's pretty damn bad. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Shit just got real. Doctor. I think we're okay for now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> They're still yelling at each other. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party, you- I kinda wanna hear that story, honestly. Did Dr. Rosaline get frisky with somebody? Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Uh, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Ouch. Alright. So let's save. Can I do the thing, or is it not gonna let me do the thing? I can't do anything! Oh, do I have to go back to the ball? I'm a dumbass. Oh, where did I leave it? There it is. Here goes nothing. Please work. Yay, we did it! Yay! Oh, he's so cute and little! Did you see his little sprite at the top? He's so cute! Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? 
There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Now I'm curious, too. Something dark going on that I'm unaware of. Can I interact with you? No? Okay. Oh, I'm a dum-dum. I gotta go out here. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've gotta take them there one day. What? I just walked through that car. Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. Look at how many of him there are. Like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, the... Ah! Uh, ha! It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. Roadkill! There's the thing. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. All right, I saw him go over here, too. Ah, my headphones are falling off. Oh, jeez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? God, my nose is so itchy. Why? Ugh. Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit, duh. We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! Oh boy. What's gonna happen? I'm freaking out here. Oh no. Oh. Oh! Oh shit. Oh, you've gotta be kidding! Oh! Oh no. Well, he's obviously okay. He lived through it. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! <gasps> Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up! It's so sad. He had a twin. That's why the mother kept calling him Joey. Even though they were young lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? 
I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Oh, man, that was sad. That was really sad. Received note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. I saw that coming. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> then they pick up lasers. And it's all, pew, 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 pew. Alright, I'm not gonna say all those. <laughs> Stop that. Hee <laughs> hee. Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and my really big houses. If he's gonna give free books away, how is he gonna make any money? I don't think he thought this through. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? See, me and Johnny here, we, we share a mind. We have the same wavelength. Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. <laughs> what, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on, I called first dibs on the train, fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? <laughs> Listen, Johnny. What difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> oh. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on! Oh, fun fact, my mom and my aunt are twins. Like, identical twins. Uh, okay. They're not completely identical anymore, though. They have different hairstyles, so it's easy to tell them apart. But when they're on the phone, you can't tell the difference. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering ago already. Aw, oh, you ruined it. <laughs> uh, can I talk to you? Fruits! Fresh fruits! Apples, oranges, and tomatoes, we get it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits. Uh, yeah they are. They're the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds, that's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. <laughs> so 
We learned something new about him today. Alright, I just did that already. But I don't want the stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too, he just went first. <laughs> it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. Dumplings? I'm not a dumpling. <laughs> she just called him fat. You know what, I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. I don't think he is. I really don't think he is. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, where's my tip? Well, there's one. Can I pick that up? No? Where did you go? Oh, down here. Go down here. There we go. Requires three bar- Oh, you suck. Alright. Uh. Trying to find things to interact with. Not going so well. Maybe I just have to talk to the people. No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. <laughs> That's very pessimistic. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. <laughs> Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Alright, I have two. Uh, hey, is that whack-a-mole? Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole, you take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? Not real moles. <laughs> They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before SP FPS were invented. Yeah, pretty much. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh. Mmm. Yeah, okay. Use mouse recommended. Alright. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm probably gonna fail miserably. My reflexes are shit. My reflex- No! Mouse! Why you fr Why have you forsaken me, mouse? I am so good. Look at this. Look at that shit. Oh. I am so good at this game. Not in real life, though. In real life, I suck at it. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Eh. Eh. Shit. As long as I beat Dr. Watts, I'll be happy. Ding! Time's up. How many did I get? Let's see now. Out of 45 total target appearances, you struck 47 times and made 41 successful hits. That's a 91% hit rate! It's your new record! Oh, good! I feel so accomplished now, guys. I feel so accomplished. I have beaten the whack-a-mole record for this tiny little game. Okay, can I go down here now? I'm gonna save again. Just in case shit gets real all of a sudden like it has done twice already. Oh, what's that? Oh, there they are. Mm-mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. Wait. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Nah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. 
Receive note. Pickled olives. I'm gonna read the note. Johnny's favorite. Joey's favorite. Hmm. So it was both of their favorites. I'm assuming I have to go find Johnny now. Where is he? Requires fight. Oh, you suck. All right. Um. Oh, there we go. One place I didn't go. There we go. Don't mind us, just adults in a playground with a bunch of kids. Um. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Where are you going? Just got quiet all of a sudden. What's up? Where are you going? Well, all right. Wow. It's beautiful. Well, okay, so we wandered off the trail and found a cool place. Let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at, the same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did, mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. Thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. Cute. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh shit, I told you packs of tigers dwell here. kids. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you?
Oh, this is where that picture comes from. Just look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then? <laughs> well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. I suppose. What do you think those stars are up there? Blech. What do you think those stars up there are? Anyways, there we go, I can read. My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. <laughs> kangaroos? Those, those are real. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. That's why she was making the origami rabbits. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and st I see it! Uh, where? In the sky. Uh, but where in the sky? Think big. Um, bigger than all of the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right? There are the two ears and head. What else? And there, there are its two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon! The moon is its big round belly. Aww. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there and they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing? I don't really know what it is. Platypus. Some kind of a weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? it? 
looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny? Uh, that's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Oh god. This is so sad. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. Oh, so many connections being made right now. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was gonna be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. Oh, shut up, Dr. Watts. Nobody likes you. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva. I know you're in here. This might actually be close to the end of the game. Um, I honestly don't know how long this game is. I've heard it's four hours, I've heard it's five, so I honestly don't know. I'm doing this for you, you artificially generated bastard. There she is. Turn around. Neil, I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that I know. Look, our contract is to send him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? Are you kidding me? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically fuck the contract. I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Ibra. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the friggin' geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. We'll appeal. We know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her, and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her? And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Just trust me. <laughs> that looked funny. Says the one who pushed me off the friggin' lighthouse. Did you just... What the hell? Frickin' light data. Abusing your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Eva. Hmm. 
Why are there just random ficus plants just everywhere? Where am I going? Oh, she's trying to stop me. Booby traps? Really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Alright, so I guess I have to use the arrow keys now. Fuck. Ah. Uh, shit. Um. Those are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oh, piss off. Well, I started off liking her. Now, not so much. Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ah, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding. Is this a joke to you, Eva? Dear Lord, they aren't just zombie Evas. They're zombievas. Oh, God, that's awful. Don't come any closer. I got plants. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Ah, shit, 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 shit. I am so shit right now. This is so dumb. Ah, eh. Ah, oh, no. Shit, 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 shit. Go away. Go away. Go away. 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 Oh, you suck. You suck so hard. How do I do this thing now? Whew, these things are good for something after all. Um, no, because now I'm screwed. Never mind. Oh, this got intense. Oh, no. Oh shit, fuck. I suck at this right now. I'm not good at this. There's too many things happening. Oh, really? 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 Are we serious right now? This is a thing that's happening. Okay. I see how it is. This whole thing is just a loop. Oh. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> what the? Alright, can I finally not shoot anything now? Oh, shit. Alright. Eva? What happened? Eva? Oh, shit got real again. What else? Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Now the whole construct's messed up. The friggin' rabbit! Alright, it's raining indoors. It's finished, River. She won't be alone anymore. I feel like this is the end of the game, so I don't want to skip to another part. I just- I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people, Nick. What is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Uh, 
If it'd help you understand her condition, I'd rather not. Why is that? Okay. What the frick? Alright. Shit got creepy all of a sudden. Bunny! Oh, they're dancing again. Okay. Uh, what's down here then? The ball. Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny, what's your name? Creepy. Your spot. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to haunt this place all for myself. What the hell is going on? Oh, 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 oh. Look, it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. Hello, Neil. Morpheus? What? It's Eva, you idiot. No shit! We're the only ones here. Listen. Whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you're accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? I don't really want to. Oh, I'm not liking this. I'm really not liking this. What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed some- feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already, where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser, there's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it, there's no time. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, where do you- Shh! Hello. Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right, the ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally, and olive refills are just steps away. Ugh, olives. Hey, his brother's alive now. She changed the course of everything. Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. I guess she's right, but still.
Short step. Oh God, the song. Deep breath. Everything is all right. Chin up. I can't step into the spotlight. She said, I'm sad. Somehow, without any words, I just stood there, searching for an answer. When this world is no more, the moon is all we see. I'll ask you to fly away with me until the stars all fall down. They empty from the sky, but I don't mind if you're. His brother became a writer after all. And everything's alright. If you're with me, then everything's alright. actually made it, huh? You sound surprised. Whatever happened to we always succeed because we're awesome. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up. We're NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's at least check this place out. Alright. I feel like I should have split this into two episodes. Um... I'll BRB guys, I just have to check and see how long I've been recording for. Okay, so I've been recording for 51 minutes now. Um, I'm just, at this point I'm just gonna keep going because I'm sure there's not much more left to this. Um, this is just gonna be a long episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be over a little bit before this, so I apologize for the super long episode. But You guys don't have to watch it all in one sitting, obviously. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. All this trouble. I just... There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. 
to the moon. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. His novel by Joey Wiles. His brother wrote it. I can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. Very true! Price four bar- oh, you suck. Alright, um... Get in the... There we go. Um, is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Second floor. We a lot of exploring, apparently. Good lord, this place is huge! This is the Mission Control Center. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I half expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. Yeah, what the hell is she talking about? I'm still mad at you, Dr. Rosaline. You're a bitch. Alright, nothing else in here to interact with, so I'm just gonna go to the third floor now. So, do you think last century's moon landing was... Let's not, Neil, let's not. Oh, conspiracy theories. What about up here? Your records are excellent, but we'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. Alright. And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, yes, the spinny thingy. It's not here, either. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. literally nothing else. So, one more floor, I think. I think it's just one more floor. Shit. No! Get elevator! I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Uh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Uh, you need to work on your communication skills. Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. Oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. Alright, so I can go through that door now on the first floor. That was quick. It was up here, right? I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, yes, a wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David, he's a mission specialist. Nice to meet you. 
At least he got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. <gasps> ah, and here's our other new recruit. <laughs> River, right? Good to have you on board. Oh, yay! Hello, I'm John. <laughs> Whew. I almost thought she wasn't- What the fuck, Eva? But you deleted her! No, I told you, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world, it's based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How are you sure that it'd work? I wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. We still have the two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny'd appreciate some company. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. I like that name. Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. I might end up having to split this into two episodes. Um, the second part won't have an outro. Just because I'll probably be splitting this right in the middle where it makes sense. I might finagle an outro and an intro, but I might not. We'll see what happens. I might just leave it as one, I don't know. I want to be an astronaut too, Dad. One day, son, you just might. Meh. should have seen him back when we went to school together. I 
I swear the guy never rested. He just kept on trying and trying. It was like he only had one goal to work for. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Wow! Yep, I once wrote a book about this, too. With a less optimistic ending. <laughs> I might have to change that after all. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, Eve is the one who requested it. Did you find out why he wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And what all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. Alright, can I get up there with Dr. Rosaline? No? Do I just have to keep going? What do I do? I think I just keep talking. You know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient, then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now, your colleague's waiting. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? Uh, not yet. I am gonna save quickly. And... Now I'm ready! Come up here. Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view is worth the odds. Come on. Ah, my foot's asleep. My foot is asleep. Ah, can't wait to get a desk chair. That's all I can say. one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. ending Pushed his hand off her shoulder. <laughs> There's the lighthouse.
Oh no. Oh no. Come on, don't die before you get there. Come on. Wow. <laughs> and that's it. That's that's the end of To the Moon. Um wow. <laughs> this game I don't even have words to describe it. This game is just beautiful. <laughs> it's not quite over yet. Um Okay, nothing really is happening, so I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, this game is, like, wow. I can't even describe it. I mean, I went into this game with pretty high expectations. I mean, I've heard a lot about it. Um, I've avoided Let's Plays of it for the longest time, just because I've wanted to play it myself at some point. And now that I have, I am really happy I did. That story was just gorgeous. It was really well written. The dialogue was good. The pacing was good. Even the comic relief from the two doctors was great. Um, but yeah, if you haven't played this game yourself, I do recommend it. It is a lot of fun. Even if you know the story, it is still a lot of fun to play. Uh, and it's got, a, it's got a story that I wouldn't mind seeing again or hearing again even. Um, so yeah, I do apologize if this video ended up so long. Um, I don't think I'm gonna split it. I don't think I'm gonna split it into two pieces. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos in the To The Moon playlist, I will link the entire playlist in the description below so you can watch the whole game from the beginning. It is pretty long. Um, and I think we're just back to the menu screen now. Yeah. So, thank you again for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me in the future. And... Oh, there's more. Here he is! Thanks. Off you go now. I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. Who else is there to give it to us? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. It's still a little too soon. Nah, it's never soon enough. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Eva here. We're on our way. New patient. New patient. Let's roll. Huh? The hell was that? What just happened? Episode one. There's another part. Oh. Okay, cool. So that is the end of To the Moon. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll play the next part eventually, I didn't even know there was another part, so thank you again for watching, and until next time, this is Semantic signing off. Bye!